Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's day 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of August and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended CFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe I'm trying to cover weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 for the next four weeks at the end of the, of the video and I shall get time back for you in a moment. Just say that first video release day was our 6M UK weather forecast. We check out that video and like to and subscribe on that video and this video and thank you so much everybody for doing that no European outlook this week it will be back though uh, next week I am improving with the throat and the voice as I think you can possibly tell um, so everything should be back to normal next week in terms of all of the videos and regular features and what not right let's start off central in temperature ECT is currently sitting at 18.2, that is 2.4 degrees above 61 to 90 on the average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 7th of uh, August. That should hold in the 18s for the first week of the month. Uh, so, very warm, you know, hot first week to uh, August 2024, definitely. Well, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. And at least today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Leeds. We're starting off around to a little bit above average at the moment. Upper air temperatures will then be ticking down to be slightly below average by the beginning of the weekend. Then, of course, got a big lift up in the upper air temperatures at the end of weekend and into start of next week. Brief heat spike lifting the temperature, you know, by uh, many degrees, just very temporarily on Sunday and particularly on Monday. And then we're sliding back down again. So as we go through the middle part of uh, August into the second half of month, hovering around to slightly below the uh, long term 30 year average. Precipitation wise, we've got some wet weather pushing through today. And then the next two or three days should be reasonably dry. Could be a thundery breakdown early next week to this uh, heat spike. And then after that, we're just looking rather unsettled, really, through the middle to second half of August. With showers and or longer spells of rain to come then. And uh, cooler temperatures as well. So, dare I say it, possibly a little bit of a hint of like autumnal weather maybe into the second half of August but <laughs> of course uh, famous last words if that we'll probably get another heat spike or something temperature anomalies from the 8th to 16th of August above average for England Wales near normal for Scotland and also for Ireland and precipitation anomalies from the 8th to 16th of August wetter than average for Scotland and Northern Ireland, drier than average for much of central, southern and southeastern England. Latest wind from that from Earth Roll School .net shows we've got an area of low pressure in the Atlantic with a weather system coming in from off the uh, off the Atlantic today. I can take showery rain eastward through the country and introduce westerly winds for tomorrow. Okay, let's start going through chart day to end. Missile latest UK met Euro Road during midnight on Sunday. High pressure ridging through the country then, starting to pull up some hotter air from the south. High pressure by midnight Monday is slipping over towards Denmark and the Low Countries. Winds turning into a south southeast direction. Look at the hot air waiting in the wings across France. Some very hot air there, plus 20 south sides from coming northwards. 24 hours further on, where well, we push a weather system through the country then and uh, that will uh, push the hottest of the air away to the east start to introduce cooler and fresher conditions from the west so this really is a heat spike somebody i saw in the comments yesterday was asking about is a heat spike unusual and i would say like a, a heat spike traditionally would have been what we termed as a spanish plume really back in the 80s and the 90s the difference is a Spanish plume tends to last around three, maybe four days. It's kind of a three hot days and a thunderstorm type idea. Um, and you will typically get the temperature maybe to about 30, 31, 32 degrees. Whereas a heat spike, it's briefer, probably only lasts about 24 at the most, 48 hours. And will be more extreme though. So during that window... 
the temperature really spikes. So instead of going to like 31, 32, it can go to 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 degrees. You know, there's no limit seemingly to how high um, the temperature can go during that brief window, just one or two days. So um, kind of what we get in the modern summers now compared to the summers that we used to get I know, like 30 years ago or so. So that would be what I would classify the difference between like heat spike and, and a hot spell or a Spanish plume or something. Uh, right, anyway, hope that explains that to that person. Right, beyond that, into the middle of next week, winds turn into the west, returning showery and cool then through the middle part of next week, or showery and cooler, with showers into the north and west, and reasonably dry weather though down in the south. I kind of, again, building up that ridge himself on Sunday. Brings a lot of dry and warm weather with it. Hot for Monday, with winds turning into a southerly or south direction. But from Monday to Tuesday, low pressure starts heading in from off the Atlantic, bringing a band of rain with it and introducing cooler and fresher air as well. Beyond that, we go flat and westy through the middle part of next week. Rather cool and showery then. This is how the uh, KMA is looking. So, uh, again, we've got that ridge slipping away to the east, pulling up hot air from the south through the beginning of next week. Low pressure then sweeps that away as it starts heading in from off the Atlantic, turning cooler and showery through the middle part of uh, next week. And uh, an increasingly showery and quite cool look to the weather into the second half of August there with the KMA. The GFS midnight run once more with high pressure reaching up from the south on Sunday, turning the wind into a hot southerly southeasterly from Monday to Tuesday. The vessel plus 20 south ice run working its way into the far southern part of the country into Monday. By midday Monday, that plus 20 south ice run has worked its way all the way up to the Midlands, East Anglia, eastern parts of England as well. But it's generating a thundery area of low pressure and sweeps it aside and it turns the wind into a westerly. So cools down very quickly once we get beyond Monday with a band of rain pushing eastwards through the country and uh, maybe combined with some thunder as well. I then go off and running into a cool and showering and unsettled spell through the remainder of next week. Wet weather, particularly in the north and west, not as much in the south, but some rain at times coming through there. Low pressure always in control. As we go to the extended, this is uh, Wednesday 21st of August, we've got the remains of a tropical storm and or hurricane there moving into the North Atlantic. So just a rather unsettled look, really, I think, as we go in through the second half of uh, August there. And then this our GFS 6 head looks by comparison. Again, high pressure rising up from the south on Sunday, bringing a mostly dry and warm day. By Monday, already generating a fungi breakdown, so restricting perhaps the heat a little bit with 6 head compared to midnight run. Um, beyond that, well, we're into a push of westerly winds with showers and longer spells of rain heading in from off the Atlantic. That takes us all the way up to day 10, which is the 18th of August, looking rather cool and showery then. And we keep those rather showery conditions going into the extended. Again, we've got the remains of a hurricane or tropical storm moving into the North Atlantic there on the 21st of August. That feature sort of meandering around the uh, North Atlantic up to the 24th, not directly impacting us, but raising the heights a little bit from the Azores High, at least temporarily. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. We thank you so much for uh, doing that. Thank you so much everybody. Around 85 subscribers will get us to 18.7k. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. GM, again, with a high pressure rising through the country on Sunday. The high pressure slipping East Wall Street to Monday, bringing up that hot southerly south east flow. But it looks unstable, looks volatile. So temperature going into 30 Celsius on Monday. Could be the hottest day of the year, but watch out for downpours, especially in the north and the west. For the middle part of next week, we cool things down and turn rather showery as well. Low pressure comes in off the Atlantic, cool and showering 
west to northwest winds taking us all the way up to day 10 with the gem. And then the East Gem rounds it all off again. High pressure building up from the south on Sunday, bring a lot of dry weather. Then we shift the wind around to that southerly, southeasterly through into Monday with a plus 20 cells ice firm surging northwards from France into southern, southeastern England. And it's a one day one day. It's clearing it out as we go through into Tuesday. With the hottest of the air then slipping over towards the low countries and Germany and fresher air starting to work its way in from the Atlantic, taking us into a cooler and showery spell through the second half of next week. Heading up to day 10, we give it rather showery and a little bit on the cool side, especially so to the north and the west. This is a precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Timetro.com. So showering conditions in the north and west today. Not much rain getting into the south. And then quite a lot of dry weather as we move on into the weekend. That takes us through to the start of uh, next week where there could be some thunderstorms, especially so in central northern regions. Again, very little in the way of thunder though down in the southeast, despite the hottest temperatures being there. And then beyond that, well, just rather showery, really, as we go through the middle part of next week. Cool, showery conditions with spells of rain, even down in the south and southeast by days 8, 9 and 10. These are the options on the table within the East Shep Ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, gets us to the 18th of August. 27 members of the ECM Ensembles with low pressure to the north of Scotland, so looking unsettled, showery, westerly winds with that. And 24, again, low pressure somewhere over or to a slight to the north country. Both the options are looking unsettled there at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 23rd of August. 19 members of the East Elmer's Arms with low pressure to our west and northeast. A ridge down towards France. That looks rather showery and a little bit on the cool side. We've got 14 low pressure right over top of the country. Looking unsettled. 9 with low pressure to the northeast. High pressure to the southwest. Rather showery and cool northwest winds. And another line with high pressure building up. From the south, low pressure to the north. That probably brings the driest, warmest weather into the southern half of the country. But to the north, likely to be still a bit on the showery side. All the options tending to look rather mixed at both day 10 and day 14 there. CFS B2 finally, these are 500 millibar height, not break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 8th to 14th of August. Next week has low pressure to the north and northwest. High pressure is to the south and to the southeast. Our winds are coming up from a southwest direction. Most unsettled in the north, driest in the south. Week 2 will be the 15th to the 21st of August. Low pressure right over top of the country. High pressure pulled out into the Atlantic. Winds in from a northwest direction. Cool and showery. Week. Should we do it? Should we do it? Week. Week. Week three. Week three. Almost. I've almost got it, haven't I? Week three. Um, <laughs> it's 22nd, 28th of August. <coughs> Oh dear, I'm making myself cough now. Week three, um, with high pressure in the Atlantic and some sort of upper level trough through the west of Europe. Could be a bit cool and showery. And then finally, week four is going to be the 29th of August, 4th of September. Low pressure to the north of Scotland. Winds coming in from the west direction. Looks a rather showery and mixed start to September there. Do -do -do. Don't see that very often, uh, do we? But uh, potentially a little bit on the mixed side to, as we begin at September. It's four weeks away though, so long way out. We shall see, and time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to everyone for the amount. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gav's weather, Gav's weather vids. Get them to subscribe to and show to everyone. For dear Matt, tomorrow we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast at 10 to 40 down, and we may try and squeeze in JMA Friday. I'll see. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.